Okay. Good morning, afternoon. Thank you all <laughs> for joining us today. I get really excited about these calls because as I was saying, we just want to back up you guys and learn together as a team and create duplicatable systems, especially when it comes to social media, which is ever changing. So um, I'm gonna kick off with what I learned an hour ago when I was on a call with my corporate rep. She talked to a bunch of very successful coaches in the network, the nine to 15 star coaches in the West and asked them, what is working for you when it comes to social media? And side note, I just sprung this on Kim because literally I was, I just had this conversation. So remember whatever we teach you, don't allow it to overwhelm you. Just let it sink in and write and take down notes. And then over the next couple of days, think about it and think about how you may or may not want to implement this. Because I know after being in this for almost four years now, you're constantly gonna learn new stuff. And there's gonna be some stuff that you're gonna say no thank you to, like I, I don't wanna go down that road and that's okay. We talk a lot about picking a platform and sticking with it. But on that same token, I do wanna share this with you because I just learned it and I'm considering, I feel like I've been getting this nudge from different trainings I've been watching, different calls I've been on. And so I feel like, God, are you trying to tell me this is what I need to do? <laughs> and I need to just stop putting it off. I don't know. Um, but as one of your leaders, I am going to try implementing it and see how it goes for me. Um, so the first one was IG stories. I don't know if you guys have heard a lot of buzz about that on the Beachbody Champions page. There was a, an entire national wake-up call about it about a month ago from Jatana Jackson, who if you follow her, her stories are top-notch. Um, and I stopped following her because then I just start comparing myself. <laughs> but anyways, what they're doing is they are, I keep saying snap. I know it's not Snapchat, it's IG, but just bear with me. I'm going to call it Snap. They snap six to, time, six to 10 times a day, and they're literally just sharing their life. Like she's, my corporate rep said, think about it like a day in the life of a coach. So pretty much every day they're snapping, making their shake. You know, again, you probably don't want to say I'm making my shakeology or, you know, have the logo showing because you want people to ask you what it is. But Maybe you put it like in a cute cup like Kim and you say, I've got my superfoods today or I'm going to mix up my superfoods, you know, because there's not room to write a post. It's literally a picture with a few words um, and they disappear. So that's why people are, again, I'm going to say snap, snapping so many times a day. Um, they are talking about coaching once every single day in some fashion. <clears throat> They're sharing about their workout in some way every single day. And then the other three to six posts are just their life. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing with your kids? What are you doing? Um, is it date night? Like whatever is going on in your life, you're talking about it. And it does provide an opportunity to get little digs in about coaching. Like I've already thought of some ideas for me just the little things that I get to do now that I wouldn't be able to do if I wasn't coaching, if I was still working as a nurse. So um, that's one platform you can use. The other thing she said, and I'm going to preface this with, this makes me a little bit nervous. However, she said it's been working. So, um, there's a few coaches who have been very successful using their Facebook personal page to cold message. And that's where I go, okay, tell me what are, what are they saying? Because I already don't like where you're going with this is pretty much what I told my rep. She said that, they're sending messages and instead of trying to do the hey girls and like taking forever to get to the point or, you know, maybe you're sending hey girl messages and then you are jumping the gun to an invite and it's not really flowing. So you're not getting anywhere. Like, I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I'm having a really hard time with my cold market and I feel like I'm making the leap to the invite too soon. And it's almost like I know it as I'm sending it, but I completely dried up on my war market. So they're sending these messages saying, hey, do you, I'm looking for five to 10 women who are interested in losing 10 to 15 pounds in the next 30, 60 days. Do you know of anybody? So instead of inviting that person, you're basically asking for referrals. And again, these are people that are friends with you on your Facebook that fit your avatar because you're kind of trying to ask them, but go around them, but you're not directly asking them. And then she said the kicker is she's sending a before and after picture with it, like of a current challenger or 
um, somebody, you know, pretty recent or even herself sometimes and saying like, check out so-and-so just in the past two weeks, she's lost five pounds. There you go. <laughs> Those are two of my tips of the day. She said it's been working. I'm considering using it, um, trying it out with people who have told me no several times. I always ask for referrals from people who have been in my groups, but I'm not very consistent with asking for, you know, if somebody tells me, no, thank you, not the right time, blah, blah, blah. I'm not very good about saying, oh, well, how, do you happen to know anybody? So I'm going to start there. That's just personally in the last hour, what I've come up with where I feel comfortable sending messages like that. Um, so there you go. Take it, leave it, ruminate on it, whatever. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is how I am starting conversations with people on my like page, because that is really what we're talking about here in Next Level Coaching is how to get our like pages really going and really bringing in people who are like us to help. Um, so anytime somebody likes my page, likes or comments on one of my posts, I always reach out to them and I say, for example, if they liked my page, thank you so much for liking my page. Your support means a lot to me. Are you also into health and fitness? Um, just kind of like the IG story part. Whenever somebody is watching one of the I, one of your IG stories, Instagram will tell you who viewed it and you can send that person a message and say, thank you so much for watching my story. Are you into health and fitness or are you on a health and fitness journey yourself? Or something like that. So you're thinking them and then you're sending them a really quick question. Um, and that has helped me a lot to engage people in conversations on my like page. Again, I haven't tried the IG stories yet, but I'm going to. Um, and then if somebody likes or comments on my post, I'm doing the same thing. I'm saying, thank you so much for commenting on my post about my workout this morning. Uh, what kind of workouts do you like to do? And I'm noticing that most of the people that are following my page will come back and say, oh, well, I need to be working out. I'm not, you know? And so boom, like that opens the conversation. Um, so I don't just jump to saying, hey, well, you want to join my challenge group? Because they'll be like, what were you talking about? But considering they're following you and they know on some level that you do something with fitness, I feel like you can get to that point sooner in the conversation than when you're trying to form people and form a relationship with people on your personal page. So I'll go back and forth with them. I'll ask them, you know, what's worked for you in the past? What hasn't worked for you in the past? What would your goals be in the next 60 to 90 days? And then depending on what they say, I basically make a recommendation that leads into, um, you know, my next online fitness group is starting up soon and I would love to work with you. And I've always, I've said this before, I've always let people in, even if they decline the challenge pack. Um, and I know that some coaches disagree with that and I totally respect that. This is just how I've always done it. And I have a pretty good return rate of those people who come in the group and see what it's like and see all these people excited and getting results from Shakeology and the workouts turn in challenge pack sales. Um, and in fact, a lot of my top coaches have that story. So it's worth it to me to let people in and love on them and encourage them without them spending a dime. It doesn't take that much longer for me to comment and like on posts of somebody in a group you know, whether or not they paid, that just doesn't really matter to me. So, um, definitely be engaging with anybody on your page because otherwise it's like, we've been talking about, it's hard for people to see the stuff that you're posting every day. You may feel like, geez, I'm posting a lot. And I'm like in these people's face, but Facebook is really tricky and they make it difficult for your material to be seen. So you need to be engaging with these people so that they engage back with you and you can build a rapport with them. And the last little thing I wanted to mention is when do you send a friend request? So we're talking about your like page, but you also have a personal page, which typically has higher affinity. So your, your posts on your personal page are typically going to get seen by a lot more people. Yesterday, I posted a picture of my first sonogram and on my personal page, I had almost 400 likes and a ton of comments. My fitness page, I had like three likes. And so that just kind of goes to show you. Um, but as far as my like page, if I see a new person who liked my page and I go to their Facebook page and they fit my avatar and they respond to that message of me saying, thank you so much for liking my page and we've engaged in a conversation, I will send them a friend request. If they don't fit my avatar, I don't send them a friend request. If they don't respond to the message, 
I don't send them a friend request, but I will follow up with them about a month later and just say, you know, hey, um, tip, uh, what's been happening I've noticed is sometimes they'll ignore that first message, but then I'll notice that they've commented or liked something. So then I'm going in and I can see that I'd already sent them a message that they ignored. So at that point, if they engage and they fit my avatar, they get a friend request. So I'm not trying to friend everybody from my like page because in the grand scheme of things, I would love my business to move over to my business page entirely. It's just gonna take some time. So I don't really want to add all of those people to my personal page. However, if I feel like, you know, this chick, her and I could be friends in real life and she's talking to me, I want a better chance of her seeing my next call to action. I'm going to send her a friend request because I know she's more likely to see it on my personal page than on my fitness page. So now I'm going to kick it on over to Kim and she's going to expand on what she taught us last week. Okay. <clears throat> I like your scary, um, your scary suggestion. I feel like I would do that to people I didn't really know. <laughs> so I'm like, cause for a long time, anybody who liked my like page, I would just send them a friend request. So I have probably a thousand friends on my personal page that I don't even know. So I could send all those to them. I mean, I feel like in a way you don't really have anything to lose. Mm -hmm. And once you engage with those cold people, Cold as in not that they're mean, but cold as in you don't have a relationship. They're going to see your posts more. So you're going to be in their head. Totally. No, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I might try it. See what happens. Might be kind of scary. Okay. So I'm going to share. Um, last week was, I was a little jumbled because my computer was being weird and then the internet was weird and I don't know. It was just doing a lot of interesting things, but I implemented all of what I'm about to share with you this week, all of it and have had, I probably, I don't know, it's just been a really cool, I mean, I, I don't know that I actually, i um, trying to think if I actually sold anything from the things that I put into place, but I am creating a, um, a, a special place that all of these people who one day will be in my group. So the first thing you wanna think about, okay, you've got your avatar, you know who you are, um, who, what kind of free offer can you offer people? So for me example, and I'm just going to use myself because it, I know me best. Um, I find that most moms with multiple children want to lose weight, but they're too busy and they don't want to meal plan and they don't meal plan. And so they don't know how to get ahead. So I created an offer and I'm going to um, share my screen and I'm just going to walk you through all of the above. Uh, can you see my um, screen? Yeah, okay. So I created an offer that looked like this um, and I ran it to my avatar with my winning ads. Um, where are you, avatar? Hang on here. Oh, no, that is it, but not that. Here we go. Okay, so I created this and then I ran this as an ad um, multiple times. So I, um, here I am, I'm really excited. So it's me, it's all my children. It's not even a great photo of really anybody, but it's, it shows life, right? So Heidi's got his eyes closed. Um, for two years now, I've been revamping my life and my families to fall into some sort of easy routine, simply healthy menus, and just gently trying to figure out how to beat the day with three kids within three years. I've come up with some life hacks and some delicious menus to help you succeed in the daily. I would love to have you join me in a free ongoing group where I will share the weekly menu, grocery list, life hacks, comment below, yes, please, and you can be added, can't wait. So I had 81 yes, pleases, which is fantastic. So then all of these people, Every single person that responded with yes, I'm going to bring you over. So this is my mini chat. Remember, this is what I went over last week. Mini chat is free. Um, you do not have to pay for it. I created a growth, to, a growth tool for my free offer. So um, all, all that happens, anybody who responds to this, this particular post is going to get... Um, Um, hey, Julie, I'm so excited you want in on my life hacks and menus. Join the group here. So here's where they click to join it. Excited to get to know you and help you with some simple life hacks. Have a great day, KJ. So then 
these people will join, gosh, my, I need a bigger screen. My life's just, um, so then all of these people are going to end up, there's my group, in. So this group is linked to my uh, fitness page, which I recommend linking all of your pages to your fitness page, uh, any free group, anybody. I mean, it's just, it's just necessary. So here's my ongoing free group. So um, KJ's life hacks and menus and all, you know, here's who I am. And I simply share, I share my meal plan. So in the file section, I have um, every two weeks, I am creating a documented meal plan with, um, with a grocery list. Um, here's, this is like my very simple, so this is actually essential to the free, to understanding the free offer. But this is going to walk them through exactly how to create what, how I eat. And now if they're joining me, I would imagine they want to know how I eat. So I'm just banking on them that. So I created this very simple PDF and it's showing them exactly how to create their thing. I have a life hack that's right here. I just realized this doesn't work. I should probably fix that. Um, and then uh, that's it. So then, and then I have all my menus all right here. So here's like a, um, you've got your, I just kind of want to show you because I feel like it was really overwhelming for me to think about and then I did it and it was actually really simple. So I keep my, obviously my, um, morning is basically the same. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right now. Computer. All right now. Okay. So here we go. Wow. You can't see this, can you? You don't see my word doc. No. Okay. Let me just share it with you. Okay. So this is my, so it's, here it is. Um, this is literally everything they'll need, groceries, and then here's all the menus, and then here's their, the, here's, the, here's the magic. Then they get this, and this shows them exactly what they're eating, what the colors fall into, and they get this every two weeks. So every two weeks, I'm gonna upload um, into this group um, where they can see what exactly I eat. So I have yet to talk about, um, do you see my website now? Web page. Okay, good. So I ne I've never talked about um, really being a coach or anything like that. I actually simply am just talking about how I lose weight, how I lost weight, and now I, you know, want to be healthy for my family. Um, and then I just pop in here at random. And I like the other day I I did a a morning routine and I shared my life hack about energize. Um, and I asked, you know, how many hours of sleep you get, and then for those that are get the least amount of sleep, I'm going to send them a packet of Energize. But it's just my way of creating relationships with women who are exactly my avatar without ever selling them anything. Um, what's cool is I just like share, I just jump in here live, I share recipes. Um, but like right out of the gate, it was just like we had the zucchini enchiladas and they were amazing. And you know, my husband was so, such a meat and potatoes guy and this is such a huge win. So this is amazing. This is basically the epitome of like 82 women are in this group. And I'm like, eight, these are 82 women that in my brain will someday join me on this journey. And they're all brand new people. So, um, <clears throat> so it's, that's, this is the free offer. Now the cool part is all of these people. So go away. Where can you go there? Thank you. So all of these people are now active subscribers in my messenger app. So your messenger app is associated with your fitness page. Um, so here's like your, this is my inbox for my fitness page. So yesterday when we did that webinar, I sent out a broadcast to every single person that's subscribed to my in that's in that those 77 subscribers. And here's, here's, I mean, here's my, um, I sent 76, I 68 of them opened it. That's a fantastic number. I mean, that's, that's really high. It's 91%. Um, so then I was able to write, you know, quickly for any one of those that wrote me back. And as you can see, um, lots of them did, you know, like, um, uh, is an FB live thing. Um, I will go, you know, I'm going to, yes, I would. I would say most people were like, I'm totally in. Um, 
join, you know, join me. And so then I just quickly sent them and I could have actually set it up that anybody who answered me didn't even matter what they said. I could say here, add yourself, which really just saves me from missing somebody in the, in the moment, right? Like, cause like leading up to the webinar last night, I didn't have time to be checking messenger and doing all these things. So instead I could have had mess. I could have had the mini chat answer for me, which I, I just didn't realize that one. So that's kind of how um, I ran am running my free offer. So this is my goal on how to continuously add value to people's lives and, and create a warm market that I'm actively pursuing. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you the cool thing is like right now I don't have that, um, that ad on, but all I have to do is, and you know, I created my audiences and I know that it's effective. So I can just hop over here to my ads manager and I'm like, you know, it's feeling kind of slow. Let's get some new people in there. I can just jump down to, where's my free offer? I feel like it's engagement maybe. I've made a mistake and put, nope, oh, it's not it. Where did I put my free offer? Isn't it funny how you do things silly and you're like, why did I not title it what my name was? Oh, for the love. This is what I intended not to do this time and yet here I am doing it. Well, let's just pretend it was right here. <laughs> um, and I could have sworn I like, can you search? You can, let me just search for it. Let's see if I, oh, here we go. Okay, so you can see like my ad ran at 16 cents, which isn't, you know, not, not terrible, not awful, but those are all people who then ended up in my, um, ended up in these groups. So I just ran them at separate because I wanted to test my audiences and just to see what I would get. I sent 17 bucks, but those are, you know, 18 people or 82 people now in that group that I can kind of play with. So, um, that's kind of, that's been, I feel like if I've learned anything from the trainings that we're taking, this is like a huge win. Um, the other thing that I'm doing is, so then I'm running an ad for my Halloween boo camp group, um, which is also an attached group to my Kimberly Jensen fitness, um, fitness group. So the cool part about when you link them now, all of a sudden, this is like a main focus. So people are going to go spend time over here. Um, and I feel like, you know, Andy said like, Oh, well, I posted, you know, I posted my sonogram picture. And of course, eventually you're going to get to that place, but test it out. The other day I did the weird one that you asked people like, what would you, if you had to eat one thing for the rest of your life based on the last thing you ate or whatever. And I had like, I don't know. I mean, the engagement was insane. It was like well over a hundred, a hundred people liking it. Um, I actually am at the place now where I'm seeing, you know, 2000 people reached and I'm getting 20 likes on my, you know, on my page, but I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very intentional, intentional about what I'm doing on my fitness page. I'm going live every single morning and most times I don't get much, but the cool thing is, is I hear about it later. Like, thank you so much for your encouragement and whether they're even liking it or commenting, that's fine. But I'm committing, I'm committing to sharing. I'm doing push-ups for life and I'm just sharing all of that. Um, I'm sharing outfits every single day because for whatever reason, people really like that. So I'm just, I'm just kind of playing with what I'm doing, but it seems to be making the difference. So, um, yeah. Any questions about any of that? No. I think it rocks. I love how you've pulled from the two different social media paid trainings we've done to create this. And I feel like little things that you and I've talked about from other things we've gathered, national wake up calls, calls in that champions page. And I feel like you summed it all up into a workable, duplicatable thing of these groups that are linked. It's like a landing place. It's like a holding tank for all these people who will be 
in your paid challenge group at some point and be thanking you. That's one thing I want you guys to keep in mind. I totally moved this and now I feel like I'm looking weird. Anyways, uh, I want you to keep in mind that when people join you, they will say thank you. I think one thing that chips up coaches in this process of things when you're just, you're trying to find people to help don't ever lose focus on the fact that the people who say yes will be thanking you. I am always floored when I get those messages, even still. And it's always the boost and the reminder I need that what we do is good and genuine work. And so, yeah, sometimes it takes time to get these people to say yes, but when they do, they will say thank you and you will have changed their life. And I think when you go into implementing anything new in this business, you need to keep your mindset there and know that this isn't all for nothing. It's all to help somebody out there who needs your specific items. So you don't have to do it just like Kim. Um, in terms of, you know, maybe you're looking at her page and you're going, oh my goodness, I could never do that. Let me tell you, you can. You just need to do it your way with your flair and your personality shining through, you know? I'm not gonna post an outfit a day because they don't wanna see my sweatshirt and leggings every day. <laughs> but I have other stuff I can talk about that makes me me. So when you're listening to these calls, whether I'm sharing stuff or Kim, take notes, but always be going back and thinking about how is how can I make this work for my business while reflecting who I am? And that is what will bring people in and help, you know, really help your business to take off. And I think that it really helps. Um, you know, I think that we get caught up in, in, you have to always, you know, you want to make the sale and make the sale and be helping more people. And I get that. I, I mean, I'm right there with you. That's part of, you know, you want to get paid for what you do. Right. Um, but it, the, the fact is, is you also genuinely, like, I know for me, I genuinely want to help people. And I know that I have tools to do that. Um, and so sometimes I have to set aside like, okay, I'm going to help people get out of their own way. And by showing them by in a free group like that, and you know, I going forward, I will probably do, um, I'll probably do free challenges in there too, like a random little sit up challenge or a, you know, whatever. But I know that they're all, most of them are, I, I would hope they're mamas. I mean, it's called mommy made easy. So, um, do you, Christian, do you plan to run your free groups through that group or will you set up separate free groups? Um, I probably, well, like right now we're running the leggings, we're running the leggings ready. And because there's so many, like I run usually my free groups with Brit. And so no, I'll probably the long ones. Cause I would say our free groups are usually like two weeks ish, eight days, but I might run separate, like a separate, just mommy group in that group, just to get more people into that group. I've also noticed that um, a mother's den is still thriving. So do you oh, plan right. to link that in some way? Yeah, I know. I think Ellie, you linked it, didn't you? To your fitness page? <laughs> oh, you're muted. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sorry, my children are fighting. Um, I linked, yeah, I linked a couple of groups to my fitness page, like the any free groups that I did. I really want to do a group. I just, I'm stuck. I was stuck for so long naming my like page, like my fitness coaching page. And I'm having the same problem with um, like what you were saying, like creating a group like that Kim, like you just created, it would be so cool, but I, I can't find a good name. Um, no one who likes my page is like anywhere near my avatar. They are all so not like my avatar. So I think that's running ads. Yeah, I've been running ads, um, but I need to practice what we talked about last week where I make a little um, ad and test it out on different groups, you know, like uh, test it out to different people um, because my, when I promote my page, like to get new likes, I'm just sort of like using a random one that I think might be good, like with military wives and it's bringing me some, some likes, but not like who I want to like my page. <laughs> so. Right. Um, Shana and I hosted a call Monday night about the branding statement, which I know we've already gone over in this group, but, um, we got a lot of good feedback saying that it really helped people to zero in on their avatar. So if you have time to catch part of that, that might be helpful. It's in all of our team, team pages. She shared hers in faithfully fit her actual brand statement. So you can break it down. And if you haven't done that step yet, 
it might help to just, I feel like it helped Kim target her audience really well. Well, and I'm still kind of, I'm still a little out there. What I've decided is in creating your avatar, you kind of figure, you kind of realize that you're kind of plain. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't really have a lot of depth. <laughs> I mean, you do, but you know what I mean? Like, it's hard. I'm like, yeah. You're like plugging things in. They're like, oh, four other million people are just like me. Cool. What else do I got? You know, and you're just like divvying you down. And I'm like, I mean, that's not really me, but I guess I'll throw it in there. <laughs> you know, I just think it's so funny. Hi. Sorry, that's my friend, Lauren. <laughs> I love that you guys are watching at work. I know. She's at The Rock. Did you know that Deborah works at The Rock? No. Yeah, she works at, um, she works in the academy. How nice. I am yeah. you, so you're, you can talk now. Okay, no, because I'm the, I'm the school, um, administ well, admin assistant and school nurse. Very cool. Yep. And that is why, I, and that is why I left because I had a little boy vomiting. So that's why I said I thought I would get interrupted. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Um, okay. Well, I don't. I kind of wanted to keep this one simple because I feel like I gave you really tangible tasks. Um, continue to test your audiences. Continue to create ads and images. And I just really think that finding that free offer is, is crucial. And like right now I'm running my Halloween boot camp. I have that running on a couple separate. I created like a very, actually, maybe I'll show you guys that last thing. Um, so last week we talked about creating a winning ad and I'm actually going to share in the, in the table of contents on the winning ads, the exact formula they want you to walk through when you're creating that ad. So, um, the ad, where is it? You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you may have already all seen this ad, but this is my, this is me walking. So I took exactly what this, now I'm not getting the kind of results the sugar mama woman did. I don't, I just apparently people with diabetes really stick together because I can't, that's, she's got like 148 comments and I'm definitely not there. So clearly I need to work on this, but I just created something. So I speak right to my avatar. I tell them how I've been there and what I did. I tell them who I'm looking for. I tell them what's in it for them. Maybe the fact that this person right here is not me is part of the problem. Just kidding. I don't know if that's really, but specifically, like, I don't, I think I even say, do I say, oh no, I say superfoods. Okay. Um, and then there's an, there's, so they can co comment below. Um, oh, actually this ad sold me two challenge group, challenge packs. That's good. Okay. Well, that's fine. And then they can actually join the group right here. So then this is cool because then this is my ongoing. So this is going to turn into my prep week next week. So right now I've just been sharing like my before and after like transformation Tuesday. I've been sharing, um, that they get a free tank top. I've been sharing about community. Um, I'm going to be doing core to force. So I'm sharing core to force transformation photos. They don't have to, but I hope that they, you know, most people will. Um, and then that's it. And so that's what's in this. This is my, like, this is now my event page, so to speak. Before I used to run event pages, now I'm running this group. So it's this week is all about just kind of getting people to purchase. And then starting next week, it will be a prep week. But all these people, even though they may not purchase, they're going to be in it. So they, I, they can technically have up until next Sunday to order. I mean, they won't have their Shakeology in time, but they will have their stuff. So they will all be part of prep week, but then the actual group will be a separate group. Will It'll you link that group to this group in case anybody wants to join late? No. Once that's, you're done, you're that's done. That's an app. That'll be the app. Oh, that was my other question for you. So you are running your groups through an app. Yeah. So then once this is, so once this prep week's over, we go into the, I mean, this week it's, or last, the last third uh, 21 days have been the castle because it was the princess theme. So it was their castle. And now, um, like that prep week was called waiting on the ball. And then this one will be their ha the haunted house. You know, we're going to be going into the haunted house to work on our, work on our thing. 
Love it. So that's sort of how I'm, I'm going to try. I, I feel like this is effective. It's nice because then if I have old people who want to join, um, I'm going to just add them to this group. So it's easy place for me to keep everybody, you know, on track. And then um, the only other thing I would add is I'm trying to get better at once I've figured out my next group, sending it to all my old customers. I'm not really great at that. I don't know why, because I feel like people do come out of the woodwork, repurchase Shakeology and jump in. So, um, so I'm going to do that today. That's on my list of things to do today. Love yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Any other right. questions, thoughts, comments, any other random other questions that you have since you're here? No. No. Well, thank you guys for taking the time out of your Friday to hang out with us. I, we are really hoping this is helpful for you guys. I mean, I feel like I have a thousand things to implement after hearing from Miss Kim <laughs> that I've been telling her for weeks. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Just get it done. So I'm right there with you. <laughs> your, your fourth baby will thank you. Taking over my brain. No. Yeah way you're going to be able to keep up on all things. So you need many chat to respond for you. I know. I know for reals. Yeah. No, it's um, good. It's good. And I, I'm, I feel like I want to try to implement the, the IG stories anyway. I know. Ugh, I feel like I need to. I did while I did one while we were on here. Good. But so now I'm supposed to send a message to every single person. How many people watched it, looked at it? 30. Sends messages. But how do you even do that? I know I haven't got that part yet. Let me look. It like went away. I'm so confused how you, oh, I see. Oh, click on the people. Yeah, I see. And then, yeah. These people, I don't even know any of them. Half of mine are coaches. <laughs> mine probably are too. I just don't even know who they are. That's one thing that's always tripped me up with Instagram. I wish everybody just put at and then their name so I know who I'm talking to. Right. Like, I just feel like we're not really going to ever know people. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to upload this one and I'm going to share the winning ad, how to like create it, and then away we go. Thanks, ladies. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.